This question asks us to consider the structure of glycine, shown here. It first of all asks us what are the approximate bond angles around the two carbon atoms. Now, as we've talked about in an earlier lecture, if I've got four things, let's start with this carbon atom right here. It has four things around it, hydrogen, hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon. If I've got four things around its central atom, what's the furthest it can get those four things apart? Well, the answer is about 109.5 degrees in, uh, in 3D life. That is a tetrahedral geometry around that center. Now, what about this carbon? Well, that carbon has three things around it. It's got an oxygen up top, a carbon to the left, and an oxygen to the right. What is the angle or the furthest angle apart you could get three things around a central atom? The answer is going to be about 120. So it'll be about 120 degrees around that central carbon atom. Now, for the love of all that is holy, students, please do not think that this is 180 degrees simply because it's drawn that way. Don't think that this is 90 degrees just because it's drawn that way. That is not true. We draw it this way for the sake of clarity, uh, well, for the sake of making it simple, I guess. But the actual bond angles around each of these atoms is not necessarily 90 or 180. It corresponds completely to how many different things there are around each of those atoms, as we've talked about in earlier lecture on molecular geometry. The second question asks us how many total sigma bonds there are in glycine. Remember, everywhere you see a single bond, that is a sigma. Everywhere you see a double bond, one of, and I got to make sure I'm careful with my fingers here. One of those, uh, every time you see a double bond, it contains one sigma and one pi. So let's count up my sigmas. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I've got a double bond which contains one sigma. So that's nine sigmas. It asks me then how many pi bonds there are. I've got one pi. So I'll go ahead and write down one pi. Mmm, pie.